Right, what are we doing today? Mm -hmm. Ooh, so what's this thing? Yes, this. Well, this is Dyneema Cuban Fiber. It is 0.8 ounces per square yard. Ooh. So it's a pretty lightweight material. Supposedly it's 15 times stronger than steel. A lot of backpacking gear is made with Dyneema or DCF. Um, I paid like a hundred bucks for this, but it should cut my poncho weight in half while also being like bigger and it will double as a tarp for just getting out of the rain. Like it's big enough that I could actually have a friend underneath the tarp with me and we could like eat lunch together or something. Mm. You know? While it's also, it could be like a picnic bl blanket as well, mm -hmm. you know, cause you could lay it down and sit in the grass or something with it. And your tent was made of the same stuff, right? So yeah. The, bathtub of my tent is made with a lot thicker version of this because mm -hmm. it has to rub against the ground a lot so it needs to be stronger and then the fly is made of about the same weight mm -hmm. material the rain fly of my z-pax duplex tent which of course that whole tent only weighs like one pound 16 ounces that's a two-person tent pretty cool pretty cool uh, it's a great right. tent so huh I said it's a great tent. Yeah, Can't confirm. Tent, especially for only weighing one pound. Mm. So today I'm going to tape the edges just to start with because the edges I feel like, you know, that's where most of the rippage could happen. Mm. If it catches something, mm -hmm. it could rip and tear mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. whatever. I mean, okay. DCF is, doesn't have the best like abrasion resistance, so I kind of want to keep it, you know, off the ground and keep it from rubbing against a lot of trees and stuff. But I've always used a poncho when I go backpacking just because it can go over your pack. It's like very you know, versatile for only weighing three ounces. Like it can do a lot of things. You can hang it up from trees and have a tarp. Mm -hmm. be nice and dry during Definitely. rainstorms. So I'm also going to put little grommets in the corners once I reinforce the edges. Grommets are just little brass rings. Ah, uh, okay. For that. The grommet kit. Grommet kit. Mm. So it's got kind of an anvil. It's got some presses mm -hmm. that you use to rivet the grommets together. Mm -hmm. So you kind of put them through a little hole and then you hammer cool. to rivet them together. So we're going to do that too. And first, I just got to put the tape in you know, a nice, even, straight line. Make sure it goes on straight, which with this big of a piece of material is kind of a challenge. <laughs> We're ready for it. <laughs> Better get some scissors. It'd be kind of funny if this tape actually made it heavier than my other poncho, because that would like kind of defeat the whole purpose. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what, that's just kind of what it's laminated in. It's kind of a clear edge that I think I might just cut off. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's even worth doing that. I feel like that would take a very long time to do that. What about just like taping over it? Wasn't that what you were gonna do originally? Yeah, I think it'd be better to tape over it. Just wanna, you know, don't wanna rush. Wanna make the best poncho tarp ever made. So uh, this is 3M. Uh, some kind of just repair tape, 3M clear repair tape. <laughs> Which I've heard is good for this. <laughs> oh, you got it right. Yeah, you got it. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's 
just like stressful when you just spent a hundred dollars on a sheet of plastic mm -hmm. and you're like, you really don't want to mess it up. want there to be any wrinkles. So that was stressful. <laughs> we got the first strip of tape just aligned down the edge without getting too many hairs stuck in the tape <laughs> or fingerprints or anything. But you know, just take the time. Try not to rip the material too much, but I did have to pull the tape back a few times to get some wrinkles out as I was doing it. Now I'm going to flip the tape over so it's kind of, you know, covering both ends of the fabric. Mm -hmm. And then I guess I'm going to weigh it just to see how much weight that added, just that strip. Because then I'm going to add about two more times that amount of tape to it. So we'll just see, see what that does. So I'm going to start working on flipping this tape over and getting it sealed up again. Uh, we'll see. See how frustrating that is. <laughs> Try to get some of the cat hairs out. <laughs> Oh, you just get to take a piece of Kiki with you. Oh. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> All, right. Okay. All right, so I finished the first edge. Got tape kind of just wrapped over the edge the whole way down. You can kind of see it. Make sure it's mm -hmm. nice and tight on there. Should just give it a good amount of tear resistance. And make sure it's still foldable, obviously. But a lot of pretty flexible tape. And we're gonna run over to our scale. <laughs> Mm. And it was what? Three ounces? Oh, it was three before, now it's 3.5. 3 so four. That'll get it up to four and a half with the tape. It'd probably be more like five with mm -hmm. the grommets. <laughs> Still better than eight. <laughs> but whatever it takes, you know, and I can't, <laughs> can't really take it out there without mm -hmm. uh, having the edges sealed up. Well, it's still better than eight. Yeah, I mean, they say you can sew it, but it's, you know, mm -hmm. it takes a pretty specialized needle and thread and yeah. all that that I don't have. And also, it, apparently it'll dull your scissors if you try to cut this material. People say it's just very hard to cut because mm -hmm. of how strong it is. Wow. Maybe it'll dull scissors, like, immediately. You'll find out once you do the hole for the oh, head. Yeah, <laughs> Now we gotta do the other side. Okay. Yeah, so we Part got one, all I four guess. Four of the edges taped yeah. up with that 3M repair tape. It says it's waterproof and UV resistant, so we're gonna test that. Let's all find out. <laughs> we're gonna see when we're out there in the freaking desert, California. We'll find out. But I don't want to weigh it again now that I've reinforced all four edges. So that's most of the weight. Let's ah, see just how it is to fold and everything now that it's got the tape on it. Yeah, when I first got this, I, I was like, I was so scared to do anything with it because it's so fragile. Mm. I just felt like it felt like tissue paper, like it was gonna just tear immediately. But supposedly it holds up really well. I heard somebody on one of the groups that I'm in say they made one of these and they used it for like 10 years. Oh wow. Like Sierras. I thought it was hmm. great. Some people would use this as both their shelter and their rain gear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a tarp like this, you can sleep underneath it with a bug net, and you could be like very lightweight. Like I wouldn't even have to bring my tent potentially if <laughs> I wanted to be that light. So 4.5 ounces now. That's reinforced. 
So that added an ounce and a half, just the tape. So I'm gonna add a few more ounces just by <laughs> putting those grommets in. Force the corners just a little bit more. Have tension on the corners. Seems like maybe an extra layer would be good. All right, so we got the <laughs> corners reinforced with two extra layers of tape, which kind of like wrapped around. So that's four layers of tape on each corner, which is doubled up. So it's actually eight layers of tape, I guess. And then the Dyneema in the middle, sandwiched in there. So now I'm going to add these grommets to the corner. So I have something to tie, you know, rope to, to hang it in a tree or whatever. Or also sometimes I'll tie my trekking poles to the corners and kind of use it to hang them out farther so my feet don't get wet while I'm hiking, you know. But the way this works is... So you want a good solid surface and you got to kind of punch a hole with this little pin. There's still material from my last <laughs> tarp. Pin. So we're going to put it on the little wooden block. circle hmm. just because of the way the how sharp this mm -hmm. little bit is <laughs> and then you throw this baby in there that's the rivet half of the grommet you put a little cap over it put that back on there well what I there it is <laughs> <laughs> of course the thing, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that goes on the bottom side. And that way the pin can go through it. Mm. So that pin doesn't mm -hmm. just hit the ground. violent process mm -hmm. but we're starting to get okay. the end cool. result there. Gotta keep going. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look Let's at see. that. Ooh. Now you've got a riveted mm -hmm. little grommet punched in mm -hmm. there. It's mm -hmm. a little sharp there. Might clean that up mm -hmm. with a file or I can try and smash it. Flip that over and <laughs> tap it on the other side a little bit. It's getting there. Yeah. That's probably good enough for what we're trying to do. Should be able to tie a rope off to that. <laughs> And you're gonna do that on all four corners, yeah. right? So, so we're gonna keep doing that. Pause. Get it growing it <laughs> on all the corners. Um, Get the final result. And there you have it—a perfect Dyneema Cuban Fire Poncho. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ooh. No, perfect. Right. Still gotta cut a hole for the head, <laughs> but at least for now, I've got a good tarp. This is pretty much the lightest tarp you can get. I mean, it's got four grommets on the edges. It's got reinforced seams all the way around. And eventually I'll cut a hole for my head. But Do we want to see how much it weights now? For now, I mean, it could almost just be like a cloak. Look at that. Yeah. yeah that's kind of cool, even without the hole. Yeah. I don't know. Could be a cloak with just kind of like a necktie mm -hmm. or something. And then the 
layers. Mm -hmm. of it. it kind of looks badass like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that'd almost be better because it wanted to have the, you know, it wanted to have big open areas where your yeah. arms would go. You look like um, like one of the scouts on Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, weigh it one more time, see how much weight we added. We were thinking five, right? Ounces? Yeah, yeah, five. Mm, I guess let's find out. Considering how many uses this thing has, really this could be... This could do everything. This could be my shelter. If it's warm enough outside, I wanted a sleeping bag. Now I could have a very light pack. Some people do that. Some people literally just go out into the woods with this, and that's all they take. <laughs> like this and food, and I don't know how they do it, but <laughs> but they're out there. People will really do that. And if you tried to buy this from like Z Packs, it would cost probably double. Like I paid a hundred dollars for just this material. I uh -huh. spent well, like an hour doing yeah. this, two hours, I maybe mean, like an hour and a half. Hour and a half, and but. If you bought this from Z Packs, it would be two or three hundred dollars. So it might be better build quality. I don't know. So like, it's oh, even nice. less than five ounces. Okay, Four point cool. eight ounces. Solid. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. So I guess that's all for now. I'm pretty happy with that. How that turned out. We're gonna have to test it. Maybe string it up in the string it up in here. See how it looks. Fully staked out tarp size. It's a little more vertical than it would normally be. But yeah, you could easily hang out under here with like two or three other people. That's how big this thing is. So like if it was raining one day, you just want to hang out with your friends, wait out a storm, you know, you pitch this thing in a couple trees and hang out and play cards or whatever. Have some coffee. Yeah, make a cup of coffee and just watch the rain fall. And you're out there in the wilderness, you know, there's not a whole lot of shelter. <sighs> yeah, I think that's gonna serve me well. I think uh, the, the amount that I bought was two and a half yards of this material, and it was $20 a half yard for this 0.8 Dyneema Cuban fiber from Ripstop by the roll. And I think the width of the roll is 54 inches. So 54 by, what is that? 90 inches, I think is the final size of this tarp. Weighs 4.8 ounces. Hopefully, uh, corners will hold up to all that, you know, tension if it's windy. Yeah, I can see where that can maybe rip, but it's good that we put some reinforcement on those. Yeah, I'm happy with how that turned out for an hour and a half of, you know, a little crafting session. I think that will be a good addition to my backpacking gear for mm -hmm. the Pacific Crest Trail this year. So, starting on May 14th, I'm going to be hiking from Mexico to Canada. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I've got this. I've got my Z-Pax Nero backpack, my z -Packs sleeping bag, and a Neo Air X-Lite uh, sleeping pad, which is like my main gear that I'm taking, and then obviously a little stove and mm -hmm. pot and all that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I hope you like that. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Dragging out.